Welcome to OC Healthy. I'm Tiffany Calvert, County Extension Agent for Family and Consumer Sciences. And I'm Angie Hudnall, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. All right, this is lesson one, and it is what to expect and how to begin. And we are so excited for you. Mm -hmm. um, so what are you to expect? First of all, go into this program expecting to improve your health. This is not just simply a weight loss program. Nope. It is not just simply to prevent you from getting type 2 diabetes. Right. Uh, but that's kind of how this program and idea got started. We are um, using Prevent T2 curriculum. But OC Healthy is more than just that. So we are going to literally address, hopefully, any health needs that you have. Um, so with any uh, way to get started on something, you have to set goals for yourself. Goal setting is so important. Very important. So whether your goal is to lose weight or um, increase your physical activity, eat more greens in one day, decrease your portion sizes of fat, like whatever it is, you have to set a goal for yourself. Right. Um, and then when we set our goals, I know a lot of people um, like to use the phrase SMART goals. So mm -hmm. the word SMART reminds us on how to set goals. So we need to be specific. That's what the S stands for. Right. Um, and that just holds us more accountable and we can direct our efforts to one specific goal to accomplish. Yes, instead of I'm going to run, I'm going to run a mile. So you're being specific, mm -hmm. I'm going to run an mm -hmm. entire mile. Yeah. And the M stands for measurable. And measurable, when you are writing a goal and you're specific, it's going to be measurable. Be. Uh, you know, you don't want to just say, I'm going to lose weight. There's no way to measure that. Right. Because how much weight are you willing to lose um, or going to lose? Like, how are you tracking that? Um, so make sure it's measurable and you'll, you'll achieve that if you write a really specific goal. Um, a for attainable. Um, make sure it's a goal that you can achieve. Make sure you have the resources, mm -hmm. and that's what we're hoping that we're going to assist you with to achieve that goal. Realistic, um, baby steps. Right. Now, there's right. nothing wrong with setting long-term goals, but you have to set short-term goals to help right. you get there. So you're feeling yeah. good about yourself that you've achieved that. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to say, I want to lose 80 pounds this month, and run a 5k if it's not happening. you can barely walk and get up <laughs> off the couch okay baby steps right um and then the t is for time bound give yourself a deadline you know with anything within 30 days i gotta get this done yeah yeah or if you need to even just concentrate on a week at a time yeah. um, or today today i will drink eight glasses of water exactly yeah but you still want to keep it real. If it's something that you know you're going to fail at, then be easier on yourself, okay? Um, and, and goal setting is all about, if you're, if you're not setting goals, then you are literally planning to fail, okay? So goals are so important. And display your goals, whether it's in your office at work, um, hanging on your refrigerator, in your vehicle. Background where, on your cell phone. Yeah, <laughs> like you need to be reminded yeah, of them, like yeah. what you want to achieve. What is your yeah. goals? What are you working for? What do you want to accomplish? Um, and have pictures of those. And then celebrate progress. Like it's baby steps and you need to celebrate every little milestone. Maybe you just lost one pound in, in a month. That's okay. Yeah, you lost you know? a pound. You lost a pound, right. at least you're not gaining. Right. Or maybe you stayed at zero. Always be thankful for uh, not gaining, That's <laughs> you right. know? Um, and don't be too hard on yourself. Um, so, and also with I say expecting to celebrate progress, we are gonna have success parties. We're gonna host them here at the extension office and these parties are gonna be so fun. Yes. Um, we're gonna have something educational always and we're gonna have them quarterly. So we're gonna have prizes and we're gonna have good food. Nut nutritious, a new recipe for you to try. Mm -hmm. um, and these success parties, bring a friend. Yeah. Okay. And if that friend is not part of OC Healthy, if they're not an OC Monitor subscriber yet, 
bring them anyway. They can sign up that day and still be eligible for prizes. There you okay? go. Because um, I know, you know, as far as accountability, you know, food, prizes, <laughs> I, I'm all in. Yeah, okay? Right. Um, we also want you to expect to build a community of uh, health-minded people, and how we plan on doing that is by creating this closed Facebook group for participants of OC Healthy where we can encourage one another, um, expect prizes to come from that too, expect challenges to be offered to you, um, and it may just be a challenge to get five green smoothies in one week, okay? Or it may be a challenge to walk 10 miles in one week. You know, like whatever that challenge mm -hmm. is, we're gonna have pop-up challenges to keep you encouraged. Um, and then just to provide that help and any resources that you have. So we, what's so exciting to me about this program is all these resources are local resources. Right. You know, you're gonna see familiar faces and if they're, if they're faces that's not familiar to you, know that they're local. They're here yeah. in, in our county, our surrounding county. And counties. they want to help you here in this community. They do. And you have direct access to these um, community contacts. You know, if, you're, if you see a video and it's how to improve your sleep habits, and if a local person, because the Are You Sleeping, um, Chad Mosley, if you need his contact information, we can get that for you. Yeah. You know, these these community contacts are available for a resource for you. Mm -hmm. um, so, and also expect to gain support from other participants. It always helps to have partners, people in, that are wanting to become healthier. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you are, your goals are focusing on safety and mine are on nutrition, we're still health-minded people. That's right, that's right. And we're building that support. Um, and we're and helping each other out. Exactly. So I just want you to expect to achieve your goals, um, expect food demonstrations. I can't wait for you all to check <laughs> out the food demonstrations at the success parties as well as the videos that we've created, just some of our favorite recipes. Yes. Um, so those are always really good. And then um, the last thing is just to expect this to be an ongoing project. Um, there's going to be constant new videos um, to help you stay encouraged. And if there's a subject that you would like to see a topic of some sort that we are not addressing, right. then bring that to our attention. If you would like for us to do that research and put together a video, then bring that to our attention. We're, we um, welcome feedback. That's right. And then, of course, how do you begin? Just to reiterate, you need to be a, a subscriber to OC Monitor. You know, you're not just getting OC Healthy. You're getting this wealth of knowledge that they put out there. There's a lot of um, information, you know, what's happening in the community and what's happening at the OC Fiscal Court and what's happening, yeah. you know, podcasts. There's just a wealth of knowledge of there. So you're not just getting us. You're getting a lot of things. And then, of course, you want to set your health-related goals. You know, you got to be specific, like Tiffany said. You got to set that date and remember to, that it has to be achievable. Um, the goals you set are going to be your action plan. You know, write it down. You know, they have apps on your telephone that you can keep up with. You know, what I've eaten, how much I've exercised, and all those things. Mm -hmm. So the things are: is what will I do? When will I do it? And how long will I do it? Um, I mean, it could be anything. Of course, a lot of us do weight. But, you know, it could also be fitness. It could just be um, walking, you know. What will I do? I'm going to walk. When will I do it? Well, I'm going to try to make sure that I walk um, at least 500 steps every day before I go to work. I mean, it could be anything. It could be different kind of foods. You know, I'm going to make sure I eat more vegetables. Um, you know, a lot of people I ask, and they say, well, you know, I eat vegetables. But how many? How much? How many servings do you eat? Are you eating the right amount? Well, that could be one of your goals. I'm going to eat the right amount of vegetables. Or, of course, if you want to quit smoking or you want to drink more water or, like she said, the green smoothies mm -hmm. or the sleep. There's so many things that you can do to be healthy. Mm -hmm. And so you can just say, what will I do? When will I do it? And how long am I going to do this? Mm -hmm. And your goals will change. You know, as you achieve one thing, well, 
I got the water pat. I drink water all day, every day, and I don't even think about it. Mm -hmm. So that one is good. But the ice cream, you know, that chocolate chip ice cream. I got a problem there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and even safety related goals. Maybe you just want to be more mindful of protecting your skin from the sun and you there can you get go. more information on that. Mm -hmm. um, so it really can be anything health related. So um, I am excited for everybody to join um, simply because we have presented this program first to Purdue employees. And That's Angie, right. there's what, over 90 people that over have joined? Over 90 people have joined. And we've had a lot of success stories. Yes. Um, and we'll see some of the success stories on the. Yeah. On there. There's been people losing weight. There's been people that are three or four people that's interested in quitting smoking. Yeah. Just because they big, watched a video. Long, yeah. Long time smokers. They've been able to get that courage and whatever they need to be able to quit. Yeah. I mean, it's really. And wouldn't you really say good. they're finding support within they the are community definitely finding that we've support. built? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so most definitely. Yeah, so now they recognize these people that's been in here. Now they recognize people in the community. Hey, so and so, I can go to them. You know, and they, I want to go to the gym. They see Brandy. Hey, there's Brandy. I know Brandy now because of the video. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that support is there. And then the last thing that I'm really excited about is how convenient this is. Very. Like, it's in your hand. Yeah. It's, it's right on here. On your phone. <laughs> it's on your computer screen. Yeah. And it's working at your own pace, right. addressing the needs that you have. Um, so, like, completely. If you don't have any interest in eating better, then you can focus your goals on something else. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just so convenient. Um, and it's local resources. You know, because, yeah. Angie, I have programs here at the Extension Office all the time. And you can't schedule a program where everybody in the community has the opportunity to come. It's just right. not possible. They're working, and they're they're working different shifts. Yeah, right. And right. so I'll have a program like similar to the Crock-Pot program, and I'll still have several people later that said, well, I really didn't get to come to that. I was planning yeah. on it. Something come up. I didn't get to come to it. Or I worked that schedule. Yeah. Or, yeah. So now we have the ability to tape these and these programs and bring this information to you at the time that you need it. You watch it anytime you want. You can make comments at midnight and you're not going to bother us because... Yeah. We won't see them till the next <laughs> morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But it's just building that community and that relationship with the participants that are in this program. Mm -hmm. um, so we're looking forward to joining. Um, and as always, we welcome your feedback. And at any time, if you have questions, let one of us know. And we look forward to seeing you in the closed Facebook group.